going to be showing you how we're going to put the layers in the correct order. So you can see we have four different columns here and each column has different letters in it. Those letters are representing different index fossils and instead of doing pictures of animals that might be harder to identify, we tried to make it as clear as possible and use letters. So the first step, we always start with the oldest rocks because they're at the bottom and then we work our way up the column. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to be looking at each of the letters at the bottom of each of these columns. So if I look at this letter A here, I can find another letter A somewhere else. Look, it's right over here in this column, column three. Now, below letter A is letter E. So now we know that E is older than A. Now I'm going to go look for a letter E somewhere else in another one of these columns. Oh, wait, look, I see a letter E right up here in column two. So now I know E isn't the oldest. We can go all the way down to the bottom of this column and look at this letter U. So I'm looking at the letter U, and I'm going to see is it in any of these other columns. And I can see the letter U right here. And since the S is below the letter U and there's no S in any other column, I can say that the oldest fossil is letter S. So I'm going to put a letter S in my box. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work my way up from here. And I'm going to work my way up. So after S comes the letter U. So I'm going to put a letter U as my next letter. Now, notice this wavy line. Remember that wavy line means there's some type of erosion. That means that the next rock layer can't be letter H, that there are some rock layers missing. So we have to find another letter U in a different column. And I can find it right next door, right here. So here's the letter U. Above the letter U is letter C, letter H, letter G, letter R, and letter E. So I'm going to put those into my column. For my answers. Now I'm at letter E. I don't have anything else up top, but I do have another letter E somewhere else. It's right down here. So I'm going to jump down here to my letter E. Now above my letter E, I have a letter A, a letter T, and a letter J. So I'm going to fill those in. Now I have this wavy line. I stopped at the J because I can see that there's erosion. So I have to find a J somewhere else in these rock layers. And here it is. It's over here in column four. So above letter J in column four, I have a letter O and a letter B. And then I get to another place where there is erosion. So I have to find a letter B somewhere else in this column. And if I look over here in column three, look, I found another B. So I have a letter B, and then above that, I have a letter K, and then I have a letter I. Now again, I've reached the top of my column. So I've got to find another letter I somewhere else. And here it is in column four, my second letter I. These are the same layer. And above that letter I is letter D. So now I have my answer. And if we look very carefully, we can see that this answer actually spells out such great job kid. So such great job kids.